thought I told you that we won't stop. I thought I told you that we won't stop. I thought I told you that we won't stop. Uh-uh, uh-uh. I thought I told you that we won't stop. I thought I told you that we won't stop. Uh-huh. I thought I told you that we won't stop. I thought I told you that we won't stop. Jesus, the notorious just. Please us with your lyrical thesis. We just chillin', milk em, top billin', silkin', pure linen, me and Woo! Yo, 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 you already know who it is and who it be. It's Greg Jesus, it's Greg G Chronicles. And uh, first off, I want to just say this, get this out the motherfucking way, because it's been a minute. Fuck these goddamn headphones. Dom Soy, baby! Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, today I thought I'd go with some peanut butter screwball whiskey. And, um, yeah, I had some Knob Creek earlier for the Easters and everything for my first beverage because I wanted something good, something fancy, you know what I mean? But, uh, let's do it, baby. So, yeah, today I wanted to talk about P. Diddy, you know, the old diddler, um, P. Diddler, really, that's what I was calling him, P. Diddler, fucking guy, Puff, Puff Diddler, my Puff Diddler daddy, Daddy P. Puff Diddler, um, uh, Mr. 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 Touch Your Man's Booty Hole Diddler P. Meister. Um, hold on, I, got, I know I got one more. I know I got one more. Diddy P. Puff Diddler. Uh, fuck. I don't know. I was just trying to figure out nicknames for this motherfucker all day. And I was like, that's all I got, you guys, you know. Uh, but it was just crazy hearing this shit about this fool. Both homes getting raided. They got a warrant on his ass. They got his uh, little fuck boy buddy, the the basketball player who would sell coke and uh, you know hustle drugs and 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 guns for that fool. I uh, put a little short out. Go check it out. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> and that fool looked like he got buff fucked by Diddy too. He, you know what I mean. He <laughs> he probably took him to San Francisco, took him went shopping and all of that shit. That's why P Diddy didn't want to fuck with the diddler. P. Diddler was, I mean, yeah, 50 didn't want to fuck with Diddler. Um, just because P. Diddler was taking him out shopping, you know, probably going to give him all this shit and try to hold him out. And 50 cents a real motherfucker. 50 cents a real nigga from, from, from uh, Southside Jamaica, Queens. Nigga, you heard me. Well, I forgot the other lyrics of that shit, but you already know. And, uh, man, that shit was just crazy to hear that. Because every... every Everybody uh, wants to be a rapper. Not everybody, obviously. I don't want to be a rapper. I wanted to, but man, I've heard kids be like, "Yeah, I let Birdman fuck me in the ass for the deal. He gave me the bag, man, <laughs> man, <laughs> Meek Mill. I just let P Diddy fuck me in the ass. Whoa, 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 whoa! Cut the mic. My bad, my bad. That's one of those slips. And uh, and shit. Hearing Cat Williams, not Cat Williams. I say. But uh, P. Diddy, P. Diddy, goddamn it, uh, Kevin Hart, he's like, what? What did you just say right now? Because he was talking about how, I think it was him and Usher, he'd be like, man, I remember we would we would wrestle over the cornflakes on some fucking, for real, bro, shit, just fucking wrestle over these cornflakes. Little did you know I was butt naked wrestling Usher for these cornflakes. Sometimes my, my, my dick would slip in the booty hole. What the fuck? What? And Kevin Hart's like, we're not just gonna, we're just gonna move past this, because I think Diddy in the video says something about like waking up next to each other in bed and shit. And um, if you go listen to Ten Ninety Jake, dopest fucking white dude out there, motherfucker's dope. He has a podcast called EOS or End of Sentence, and he just basically talks about prisoners and their fucking paperwork and shit. Um, but uh. But I like him because he's like the ka, the sta, the ba. I, I've talked about him before plenty of times. It's just dope. Uh, but he talks about shit. Same with Swamp Stories. Go check that out. I'll have to put a link in the, in the description for Swamp Stories and uh, EOS and the sentence for you guys to check out. I may do timestamps that I do not know. We'll see as we go. You know what I mean? But... But yeah, goddamn old P. Diddler, dude. He did, he done did it again. I saw a picture of Justin Bieber. Fucking, uh, ju he puts his, he, it's a picture of, of Diddy. Puts his hand on Justin Bieber, right? And Justin Bieber's just like, just like Stone Cold. It's like, oh, oh God. 
Oh, God, he got the dreaded finger up the butt. He got the thumb put in his butthole. Oh, my God. So, yeah, maybe maybe, maybe that's why, why Justin Biebs, he says the N-word and shit. You know what I mean? After he was a kid, though, because I know he sung the hard R one. But, you know, soft day all day, baby. Soft day. <laughs> but, damn, dude, that shit's fucking crazy. And through hearing my hearings and all this bullshit, you know, it's all allegations. And, and and if I was Johnny Cochran or if I was a lawyer, I'd be like, yo, since when, and, you know, and maybe y'all have heard this. I forgot where the fuck I've heard it. Maybe it was the OJ trial. Since when is it guilty until proven innocent? No, no, no. Not in my America. It's innocent until proven guilty, God damn it. But this motherfucker's skirting around like he sure is guilty. He ain't in, he, they don't know where the fuck he's at. Last I heard, his plane was in here, and it was over there. But we used to live over there. And then we moved on to the other side. Now we're over here. But he's somewhere way out there. You know what I mean? He ain't here or there. He ain't here or here. He's there, over yonder. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, ain't no telling how much offshore accounts this motherfucker has that's just full of money, you know? Apparently, this fool wasn't paying motherfuckers. Uh, ah, fuck. Roddy Rich. Not Roddy Rich. I'm just joking. Some guy named Lil Rod. Lil Rob. He didn't get paid. A lot of motherfuckers didn't get paid. Uh, Craig Mack. Bringing flavor to your ear. I'm spitting new flavor in your ear. Get out of here, black cat. Say hi to the camera, though. Look at this motherfucker right here. She has nipples. Get out of here. Gosh, this is the fool I, I fucking hate on because he likes to piss on shit. God damn it. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Are you trying to pull a, a P. Diddy and just fuck everything up? God damn it. Anyways, though, I shouldn't put that. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be. You know, you're a fucking terrorist in this house, but you ain't P. Diddy. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, though, um, <laughs> before I got carried away by this asshole. P. Diddy, though, is on the run like a motherfucker. Ain't nobody trying to find him. Or I guess they are trying to find him. But but he's 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 running like a motherfucker that don't want to be found. He's running like El Chapo. Go, get away. Hey, hey, get, get, go away. Go read some books. Go eat some fucking artificial fish or some shit. God damn it. Go eat your meow mix. God damn it. Meow mix. The only ones cats can't pronounce. Meow, meow, meow. Um... Damn, speaking of which, have Justin Timberlake and P. Diddy done a song together or anything like that? Cause, psh, you know that you know Justin got got. You know what I'm saying? And P. Diddy fucked some dance moves into that motherfucker. Mm. But, but I was hearing all this crazy shit on Diddy. Apparently, Diddy was always high or always wanted to have a drug of choice on him. Again, you can hear this shit all on uh, Swamp Stories, but mainly 1090 Jake. But this fool had his, from the butler to the cook, to the driver, his mama, his granddaddy, his baby mama's mama. You know, everybody basically held drugs for this fool. Which, I mean, I'm not going to lie. If I'm practically a billionaire and I want to do some fucking, some whisker do's, some whisker don'ts, you know. Maybe I might. I might get sick and tired of fucking around with with snakes and sparklers. You know what I'm saying? So of course I want I want I want fucking drugs to be at my disposal. Sweet cocaine, sweet fucking GHB. I ain't never done that shit. Fucking ecstasy. I've done I I've done this. Done that shit a couple times. Uh, mushrooms. Yeah, half a tab of, uh, or one half or a tab of acid. That didn't do shit. Um, God damn it, all these fucking beaners want to do some fucking yard work right now. I can just hear that shit. Fucking bastards. God damn it. Help one of your own people out, god damn it. You see my shit? S stop mowing your lawns. God damn it. Um, but, um, stop mowing my lawns. The ones that I graze in Rome. Um, yeah, stop mowing my shit before I call P. Diddy on your ass. Before I have P. Diddy sign you to a record label, motherfuckers. <laughs> See? 
I signed to the label. He, he fucked me in the butt for the label. See? That's how I got the monies. My phantoms. Alright. Anyways, though. Yeah, P. Diddy was just getting high. And uh, to be honest, this fool was doing some crazy shit now. He was doing pink cocaine. And I've heard of pink cocaine only from one other motherfucker. And that's Scott Storch. Legendary beat maker. He made... Uh, I Make It Rain by Lil Wayne. I don't know. Some some of y'all might be too young. He made a lot of hits. A lot of hits. Hell, I think he might have even made Lemonade. You know what I mean? He's, he's responsible for a lot of good piano hits, like giant piano keys on people's songs. But maybe that shit was mixed with ecstasy and he didn't know it because this, this shit's called Tusi. Tusi's Pink Cocaine mixed with ecstasy. And I was like, God damn. That sounds amazing. Let me get some, you know? I would love to try that shit. Why the fuck not? Because I hear ecstasy makes you want to fuck the wall. Makes you want to... There's a a little drawer. There's these nice little wool-like little cubicles, you know, that you have to hold shit with little fake metal brass ring holes in it. If I was... I, I hear ecstasy might make you want to stick your dick through that shit. You know what I'm saying? But hey, I, I, that's I, those are just the rumors. Those are just allegations or rumors like this fucking P Diddy shit. You know what I mean? But you know, I think that motherfucker probably did something. He had to have done something. Mm. Mm -mm. But yeah, and then he's got all this crazy stuff with that fool. Fucking apparently, Little Wayne. Little Wayne was like, "Yeah, man, you know, you get some people out here, man, and they just gonna." You yeah, out here Diddy bopping and shit. And uh, and he was sitting right next to P. Diddy. Yeah, he hear Diddy bopping and stuff like that. They going to find you. They going to get you and, you know, turn you out, basically. You might run into a motherfucker like this. And he does a slick little nod. He nods to his fucking right. And P. Diddy's right there just nodding his head like, word, word. Because that motherfucker's probably gone off cocaine and 2C and weed edibles. That's right. They even had weed edibles so from the cooks to the nurses. Cocaine, weed edibles, fucking pills. This motherfucker was probably on tranquilizers. Like he's a goddamn, because he's a motherfucking animal, you know? But, uh, <laughs> and take it easy. I don't mean animal like it. No, that motherfucker's an animal. He's a fucking, his thirst for boy booty, man booty, and pussy is insatiable. You know what I'm saying? It's like America to beer. It's like America to cocaine. It's like America to. McDonald's, it's just sensational, you know, but, but yeah, fucking Lil Wayne was like, yeah, you remember, and <laughs> P. Diddy's in front of him, kind of, I swear to God, this fool kind of like, you know, when you're sitting next to someone right there, and they're like talking about like, yeah, man, let's go get some fucking drink, go get some more fucking coke, some weed, and shit, but he's already fucked up, you know what I'm saying, or do you know what I mean? Do you understand? <laughs> Just for the people that don't know what I'm saying. Uh, so, so you're next to him, and you kind of like stand up straight to get out of the view, and you're like, oh, don't, don't, fuck, don't. You know? <laughs> That's what little Wayne does, but he stands up straight and goes, and then you get a motherfucker like this, man. And kind of like, looks like, huh, P. Diddy, he get a fucking Diddy, P, old P. Diddler over here. You can fucking stick a thumb in your ass. And if you're lucky, he might put it, he might fucking lube up his thumb like, oh, you know. But yeah, I was like, damn, fool. Even, um, what's the name? Asha, Asha, Asha. Just last performed at the Super Bowl. He was, he was caught saying like, yeah, man, you know, I was at, I was 14. Which has showed you how old P. Diddy is. P. Diddy's like 50, 51, 50 something. This motherfucker's old. But he's a big motherfucker. He's a big old son of a bitch, dude. He's a big old motherfucker. And, I, and I'm and i not just talking about his fucking nasty black cock in presumably Usher's ass. You know what I mean? He's just a big fucking motherfucker, dude. So, yeah, Usher was like, nah, yeah, man. I was there for the Diddy, for the Diddy boot camp. The Diddy, the Diddy ass rape camp. You know what I mean? Oh, I just said a bad word. Ooh, I should have said grape. Oh, I got graped. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, dude. I hate that bullshit on YouTube. I got, gr I got, 
I had to get graped. YouTube is graping my ass right now because I can't say rape. Oh. Sorry to y'all who probably got graped. Red or black graped. I don't know. Or white graped. I don't know. Rape, 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 rape. Okay. <laughs> Done. Sorry. Anyways, though. So, yeah, dude. He, he fucking Usher was like... I I was there. I was at the parties at the Diddy boot camp staying, you know, and there was some wild shit. And um and they were like, "Oh, so you never uh were having sex with overage women and stuff." And and Usher was like, "No, no, no. I ain't never said that. I ain't never said I ain't." Which kind of explains his whole herpy fucking fiasco. You know what I'm saying? Usher probably was Fucking a bitch that probably fucked another motherfucker that probably fucked another fool. I'm a man, I'm just assuming herpes is rampant, just rampant in the in the rich, in the rich nigga community. You know what I mean? When you the rich nigga, when you rich, I'm surprised Leo Di Leonardo DiCaprio don't got fucking herpes. You know what I mean? That motherfucker must have the L L herpes L herpes because I don't think we would pronounce the L herpes. You know what I mean? But but yeah, that fool, that, it all explains why Usher has herpes and he's just out there giving it out because he was taught to, you know, basically it's like Cobra Kai, but for fucking no mercy. You show no mercy on these bitches and bitch ass motherfuckers. You give them all the herpes they can handle. <laughs> they got Valtrex now, motherfucker, you know. It wouldn't surprise me if a big shareholder in the Valtrex company is Usher. Usher, Usher, Usher. Now I gotta keep it real now. Cause on a one to three, that motherfucker has herpes. <laughs> but but yeah, dude. And then and then I don't know, Meek Millie, I don't know if old Meek Millie got popped in the butt, but I saw the way he did a wheelie on that motorcycle, the way he rode that shit. You know what I mean? But I don't know. I don't know. I would like to hope to and maintain the fact that Meek Millie is a real street. A real screek nigga. But he got some DSLs. I ain't gonna lie. Meek Mill's got these fat ass DSL lips. That kind of might be like. Oh shit. Diddy might have got this motherfucker. You know what I mean? Hell. The white man may have gotten Diddy. And then Diddy got him. Because that's probably how Meek Mill got fucking out. Maybe P. Diddy was like. Alright white man. I'll suck your shit. To get. Meek Mill out, you know, and I don't know, I thought Meek Mill was like signed to, to MGG or MGM, not MGM Grand, but like Maybach music and stuff like that, you know what I mean? Mm. But I don't know, you know what I mean? I'm not in the industry like that. Man, that's like Joe Rogan coming up to me and being like, yo, Craig G, put you on my podcast, you can get all this experience. But you got to suck this Neanderthal dick. And I'm like, whoa. Sign me up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, god damn, fuck no. Ew. That motherfucker's bald. But, you know, I don't know. I, apparently, though, once you get like that. Okay. How did he would really get his people, though? Because it's different. Because it's not like he's doing that shit like, hey. And then leaving it up to you. You know what I'm saying? He ain't giving you the option. What I heard, allegedly, allegedly, this motherfucker spiking drinks with ecstasy. So this fool's out here. You know, that's like me drinking my screwball. I, I wish I would have done that for myself right here. Just here just to try it. But <laughs> fucking ecstasy myself. But he was having tequila or vodka, whatever the fuck you're drinking, spiking it with ecstasy. And uh, I, wish, I wish the gangland voice guy would have fucking done a, a biographical documentary. You know, it starts off with the dun 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 boom 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 dun dun dun. I don't know, just tell, picture like a gangster beat, you know. Wow 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 wow. I don't. I, I can't fucking do it. Picture a gangster ass beat, and then, and that's when, <clears throat> and that's when, P Diddy was also spiking drinks. Dun dun dun. Oh yeah, picture that fucking. If y'all seen Bad Boys 2, if you've never seen Bad Boys 2, go watch it. There's a fucking scene in the movie where it's a song that goes, dan, 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 
And there's other shit going on in the background, but that's the main. And that's when Sean Combs gave everybody spiked tequila with fucking, fucking ecstasy. And you know me, I'm Mexican. I would have fucking, I would have been like, oh, fuck yeah, dude, free tequila. Free tequila, I'm in there. Bang, bang, bang. I would have took like fucking five. I would have been, I would, fuck, dude, they would have got my ass. I would have been, I would have been like all up in the party like Dom Soy. <laughs> fuck. I think I would have broke every motherfucking lot. I would have fucking, I would have danced on the, on the floor. Probably would have got a bitch, you know. Sorry to my wife, but I'm at a ditty party. You know, there's probably some bitch there. I don't know. But, uh, took a shot of some fucking, uh, fucking, I want to say Patronacy. Like, I'm fucking, uh, what the fuck's that fool's name? Marshawn Lynch. But, I mean, I guess it would be Patronacy, Patron and Ecstasy. So, it's still Patronacy. But, um, uh, tequila C. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I guess that's still Patronacy. Cause tequila, God damn it, don't listen to me. <laughs> But yeah, fuck, dude. I would have got got probably. I would have been passed out real quick. Can you believe this motherfucker took seven shots within four hours? Not even four hours. What am I saying? Two. One hour. Fuck. I wonder how many people OD'd. Like, you know, like, hey, let's take hella fucking shots. Like, because I know there's one motherfucker that's going to be like, all right, let me line up like five shots real quick. Five shots. Right then and there, you know, because there's crazy motherfuckers that are partying, because they're like, I got my coke, I got my fucking, you know, some some Nelly, Nelly is uh, Nelly is Nelly is probably in there taking five shots in a row, probably gonna snort a line of crystal meth up in this bitch. So you know, you got savages in there and shit. Now Nelly's Nelly's different though, because if he's snorting that Chris, he ain't he ain't going down. You ain't Nelly's count him out. He's up and he's paranoid. And Nelly got the guns. So yeah. Ludacris, you ain't gonna catch Luda. You ain't gonna catch Luda there. No fucking gay ass party. You know what I'm saying? Um, who? I think Luda was making fun of the fool. He's like, uh, how you gonna talk about that shit? Man, man. Uh, Luda did not want nothing part of that conversation. I was like, God damn. Mm. So yeah, it was pretty crazy, dude. He would set you up, record you without you knowing it. Um, just watch you, wait for you to pass out. He'd send bitches to, uh, you know, to have a good time. There was this one fool fucking little Rod, but little Rod sounded like he was having a good time, except for, you know, when Cuba Gooding Jr. tried to, tried to, try to get at him. Cause yeah, apparently Cuba Gooding Jr. was trying to do some gay shit and, um, he wasn't saying, and if you don't know Cuba Gooding Jr., if you've never seen all about the Benjamins because y'all are younger, or maybe you're my age, but you've never seen that shit, there's a movie where he's like, show me the money. I think show me the money. Money stood for penis in that fucking, in that motherfucking sentence or verse, you know. But, so Lil Rod was chilling. They have a picture. And when I hear the story, it's a smile like, yeah, but it's like a, yeah, yeah, nigga, I'm just smiling right here, motherfucker, just so, so I can get through with this shit, you know what I mean, it looks like a real hesitant smile, but apparently, fucking old red tail Cuba Gooden Jr. was having, was touching on his thigh and shit, and like, caressing the small of his back, like, motherfucker, bitch, He's caressing the small of my back and touching my thigh, get off me, faggot, what are you doing, get off me, faggot, <laughs> I would have got a hate crime real quick. Get on me, bang it, bang. You know, that would have been a hate crime. Cause you can hit a motherfucker, but don't call him this or that. You know, no. Um, but it is what it is. You know. But yeah, Cuba Gooding Jr. You're a sick doggy, and little Rod was just like, dude, I'm trying to just get through, get through. But, um, I was hearing some shit on Swam Stories, though, that, uh, in this classic victim victimizing shit, fucking, this one guy, the, the, the head vampire, the head diddler, the Dracula diddler, the, the driddler, the driddler was some fucking old black dude. Now I'm figuring he, 
I'm picturing this motherfucker A looking like Dick Gregory. No offense, Dick Gregory. Uh, old black man, you know. Maybe even look like Frederick Douglass. You know, I'm sure he's walking around here somewhere. <laughs> nah. But, but, but maybe he looked like Frederick Douglass. Or the black dude from The Dictator, who they take off his head because he was a drug kingpin and shit. But um, I'm imagining that fool looks like that. He molested a guy. He turned, he diddleized another guy that diddleized Diddy. That made Diddy P. Diddler. You know what I mean? He's like, listen here, Diddler. I'm going to turn you into P. Diddler. And um, it's a whole cycle. You know what I mean? So, and then apparently, allegedly, there's this one bitch that walked into the office because the office wasn't locked. And now you figure you're going to do some fucking deviant shit. Better lock the door. You know what I'm saying? All right. You know, on my, uh, okay, truth time. For real. I went to go, I, I was going to go to the hot tub. I went to the hot tub on my fucking, uh, on my fucking, uh, on my, on my downtime, you know, I went to the hot tub to go chill, but prior to that, you know what, stop by, check to see how much rent was, all right, cool, you know, because my rent ain't always the same, because there's some bullshit, some fucking trials and tribulations with my shit, uh, <laughs> but, uh, I stopped by the bathroom, because you know what, I was like, damn, this fucking, this shit's empty right now, I don't got my wife, I don't got no kids around, it's fucking quiet. I was like, I'm going to jack off. So I had some peace and quiet. So I wanted to just have a nice, good jack off sesh. So I jacked off. Someone came in right there as soon as I fucking would be halfway through. You know what I mean? I'm like, eh. now I got to change my stroke. You know what I mean? When you someone says, you got to change your stroke, make it a little quiet. <laughs> I can just be fapping away. So I had to be like, I stopped. I paused. I paused like a, I... I played possum like I, I played possum in the bathroom like maybe if I just don't move and play dead you know, and then I really got to hear how thin those walls were because this motherfucker fucking took a piss in the bathroom that was next to me, and I was like, uh, I could hear everything, like just the strong stream of unawareness that a man was silently masturbating in the bathroom next door, <laughs> and. And hey, motherfucker, don't act like I'm the only one. You know what I mean? I'm married with fucking a wife and children. My my, my fucking bitch is bleeding right now. Because I fucking dicked her down a little too hard. Um, and she just barely got back into the game after being pregnant. Because you got to wait six weeks. She can she can normally only hold back four, five, so could I. You know what I mean? So it's like, God damn it. You know, I've been, I've been trying to be a good little doggy. But no, 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 no. You know? I'm not the cleanest doggy. I'm not the dirtiest doggy. I'm not the fucking the P did the P doggy and the P Davy doggy. But um, but anyways though, while I was doing my shit, you know what I did? I locked the fucking door. I locked the door. Did I finish? Yeah, I fucking came all in the toilet bowl. Yeah, you know what I mean. I sprayed the toilet seat down too with some fucking killer shit to kill all my fucking shit because they happened to have a bottle there, so it was meant to be. You know what I mean? It was like God wanted me to jack off in that bathroom. All right, I did. So, um, so yeah, I did my business. Basically, though, but I locked the fucking door. These motherfuckers were, uh, the fucking, the Nosferatu, no, not Nosferatu, because that's the King Diddler. Dracula was making fucking Blackula suck his dick, Blackula being P. Diddler. P. Diddler was sucking some mad fucking cock, maybe getting his ass cheeks clapped. And uh, the lady walked in. She's like, oh, my word. These niggas is fucking in here. And she she dipped the fuck out. Fucking prima couldn't handle that shit. She was like, oh, my word. But it, it, it leads to some whole shit. It's fucking crazy. I'm going to pause. I got to take a piss. Oh, did it pause? No, it did not. Oh, wait a minute now. Is it still going? Jesus. Ah, so anyways, OP Diddler... Had a farm, E I E I O face was getting buff fucked, you know, and um, and then you know that's what happened. Now he's like, I did, I got done diddled, so now I got to done diddle all these motherfuckers, you know, Past, classic fucking predatory shit, you know, and um, Fifty Cent recognized that shit. He's like, this nigga wanted to buy me shit, take me shopping and stuff, and he didn't want it. And um, Roddy Rich though. 
was getting pampered like a bitch. Um, he would promise like 250k for every something. You know, basically you get a check. Now you could ride around in my cars. You can live in this 30 million dollar house. And I was like, oh, he's treating him kind of like a bitch, like a girlfriend, like a little slut, a slut to put it in his butt. And I was like, yeah, damn, you know, and it, and uh, it makes sense why he wanted to be in all the videos and shit. And that's why Suge Knight was like back in the Source Awards, 19 fucking 90, whatever the fuck that shit was. And he was like, in case you don't want that motherfucker all in your videos, all in the songs, come to fucking Death Row Records. Mic drop, full walked out, smoking a cigar, that fat motherfucker. But um, but yeah, that was that, you know. So it was he had he tried to have control, you know what I mean. Now there was all this crazy shit with him too, which lets you know that he's a crazy motherfucker. He said he's gonna blow up Kid Cudi's car. Kid Cudi's car blew up. We all know this, you know what I mean. Now he would use bitches to set motherfuckers up. J Lo, don't don't think I forgot about your fat ass. Your fat having ass fucking slipped him the gun to shoot a motherfucker. Allegedly, I guess, you know what I'm saying? But a motherfucker took the fall for that fool. And I don't even think that fool saw a dime from P. Diddy. That's all I know. I don't know if he didn't not see. Maybe he got a couple dimes thrown his way. But, you know, when that fool got out, I didn't hear about it like how when Tupac got out. You know, oh man, Tupac went in, got out. Fucking million dollars, fucking bow. He was Megan hit him up and shit or whatever the fuck. I don't know if it's the first time he got out or was released from prison when when someone bailed him out or the second time. But yeah, you know, I don't remember that fool after 10 years taking a murder bid for fucking Diddy saying that, yeah, motherfucker, I'll take a fuck, I'll shoot a motherfucker dude. You know what I mean? There was none of that. So. Mm. But Lil Rod didn't get paid 50000 100000 so that's why he sued and all this shit is kind of coming out in the way. Um, now, I don't even know, too. There was a video leak or whatever. A neighbor, he was like, the neighbor was like, man, they be having all these teenagers coming over at like 3 in the morning. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I wasn't what the fuck to the teenagers at first. I was like, what the fuck? You sounding like this? But still, that was just like, all right. <laughs> You know what? You and Diddy are on the same block. Congrats. So he's like, yeah, these motherfucking ass kids is coming over here at 3 in the morning. Time to get the fuck out of here. So I was like, god damn, because apparently 50, not 50, what the fuck, my bad, 50, P. Diddler, my bad, 50, my sincerest. <laughs> P. Diddler was fucking mass transiting these bitches and shit. And maybe a couple of them were underage. Some of them were from this fucking strip club called booby trap so i was like god damn that's how you know it's a setup you're getting bitches from booby trap god damn and and honestly that's a good that's a fucking out that's a five-star name for a strip club booby trap whoo booby trap that's great hey yo hey cuzzo hey buzzo you trying to go over to booby trap oh shit hell yeah let's get them funds going call me the fundraiser for these bitches you know i can hear it Oh, yeah, actually, I would love to go to the booby trap. Let's go have some fun. All right, Harold, let's go. Meh, meh. Throw some money at these bitches. Meh. Maybe we, we can sneak on the bus and go to Diddy's crazy freak parties. Meh. You don't want to go to Diddy's freak parties. Meh. And Cat Williams called it. You ever go, you go to like P. Diddy's house. I think he's even said this explicitly P. Diddy's house. Maybe he said a rich motherfucker's house and you go into the wrong room. Huh. That's all that shit, you know what I mean? Which is insanely rich, you know, when you're a billionaire and stuff like that. To just have a house with rooms and rooms and rooms. And you can have parties in those rooms without anybody knowing. He, and word on the block is he was recording people secretly. And, uh, yeah, that fool was just a savage. Fool was a savage. Now, am I going to maybe possibly play his music? I just did for the fucking intro of the goddamn episode. But that's Biggie Smalls. Now, Keefe D said Diddy paid him a million dollars to kill Tupac, right? Because Tupac did hit him up. 
talking mad shit. Tupac already thought that he got set up by Bad Boy as a fucking, the Bad Boy, the record label, the crew, the staff, and the gang, you know what I'm saying? He said, fuck them niggas. And, uh, again, apologize for my harsh words. It is what it is. Uh, I can't tell the story without telling the story, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, though, uh, it leads to the fact that Diddy is the motherfucker that got Tupac killed because he wanted to end this shit and then he hired Keefe D to fucking do it. Now, allegedly, Keefe D's nephew was disrespected by Tupac and Tupac slapped the shit out of his nephew. I think that's that shit that caught it. That, I don't know if that's led to the brawl that you see on cameras and shit, but, um, but, uh, Keefe D obviously wanted to defend his nephew and shit and be like, alright, let's roll on this sucker motherfucker. If you've ever seen Get Hard, he's like, are oh, we gonna roll on these trick ass motherfuckers? I forgot who the fuck it, who the fuck it was. Some black dude in the movie, but it was fucking great. It was hilarious as shit. Watch Get Hard by Kevin Hart and Will Ferrell. Fucking amazing movie. Um, and, uh, and anyways though, so that being said, Keefe D is, is promised to get paid a million dollars for killing Tupac or getting him killed. And it's all coincidence. They just happen to be leaving the club and they're like, oh, son of a bitch. Some bitches were calling for Tupac's name. And they're like, get out of here. You know what I mean? When you're like, get out of here. Get this motherfucker. Ba 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 ba. They shoot this fool shit up. And, uh, Diddy apparently allegedly gave a check to give a gave a check to someone to give the check to to Keefe D and them, but that check was never given to Keefe D and them because apparently that fool who was supposed to give the check, like I said, never gave the check, but that ended up kind of keeping Diddy clean because there was no money ever. Technically, like there was no real transaction, so you can't tie that shit back. Crazy, right? Am I I'm like, damn, dude, and. I don't know, There, it's not like some other charges where it's like conspiracy, you know, I don't know if they can get him on conspiracy to murder, because it's like, that's my, because nothing really happened, there was no true money exchanged, and then after that hearsay, so that's probably what kept Diddy out, is what Swamp Stories is allegedly saying, so that's all on Swampies, the Swamps, but it's just definitely crazy, and she's definitely wild and out there. And uh, the fact that P. Diddy ain't around to say nothing, he's only going through lawyers, which is still smart. I mean, as an innocent man being charged with all that shit, I would, and I would, I'm saying as an innocent man, as a man allegedly trying to get through all that shit, you know what I mean? He definitely, definitely is refusing to say a word without a lawyer, anything like that. And you know what? I don't even, that motherfucker ain't in no state. He probably has so many jets so many things in other people's names that, because he ain't dumb. Apparently, this fool went to Howard University or was going to go and then dropped out because uh, the guy who diddled him, the, the middle diddle vampire, you know, the viddler who vitalized him was like, drop out of school, player, and be the fucking president of my new club. And that the, the vitalizer who vitalized Diddy got... Extra vitalized because the main head vitalizer, the big, the big vampire diddler, said fuck, fuck this middle fool, and made Diddy the main, the main vampire, the main vamp, the, the vampire diddler, the vampire diddler, right? And um, and uh, fuck. So made him the so. Anyways, though, he he showed him the ropes. He got diddled, did all that shit, but uh. But you ain't gonna catch Diddy nowhere, nowhere. He's out there probably diddling some new fucking Costa Rican rappers, being like, "Yup, mm -hmm, you already know the word, player." Well, I don't know why I talk to him like like he's Birdman and shit, but but it's crazy, right? So so yeah, Diddy's probably out there as Diddy's out there playing music, and 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 it was and this shit was put in broad daylight. You know what I'm saying? And get him to the Greek. They played a song to let you know. Gonna fuck your shit. Gonna fuck your shit. Gonna fuck your game. shit. Gonna knock your bitch. Gonna knock your bitch. Gonna fuck your shit. Ugh. You know what I'm saying? It's like, goddamn. But now that everything's all gone, 
Or you would just, he would probably say, The bubble done pop. You know what I'm saying? Now that the... The bubble done pop. He's, he's just on the run. His ass is gone. He's fucking gone. But he's still out there. He's still out there doing this shit. Can you feel my dick fucking your mind? See? You know what I mean? Can you feel my dick fucking your mind? Yup. You feel that dick in your mind? That's what he's doing right now. He's mind fucking everybody right now. People fucking think he's in Florida or Cali or in this country. He ain't in this country. He's in fucking Istanbul. He's in motherfucking Argentina like them goddamn Hitler Germans were. He's in motherfucking Alaska. Yep, yeah, that's where he, The blackest man in America? Alaska. That's where he is. Not even Alaska. That's still in the United States. I mean, uh, an, uh, Antarctica. That's where that motherfucker's at. Because my wife was saying, ugh, he's ugly. Him and Jay-Z's ugly. But, uh... And I was like, damn, that's cold. Jay-Z ain't even got nothing to do with this shit. She was just mentioning the ugly motherfuckers. But, um... But she was like, yeah. And <laughs> my wife was like, yeah, and P. Diddy's black as fuck. Gristle burn black. Can't even see no facial, facial expressions on the motherfucker. I was like, god damn. She doesn't speak like that, but she was like, you can't even see... She said, you can't even see facial features on him. He's so black and burnt. I was like, wow. Really? Really? But I agreed. And I was like, yeah, no, nah, you fucking right. <laughs> In the words of um, Patrice O'Neal, motherfucker look like he got dolphin teeth. <laughs> Shout out to, uh, I don't think his name was Bug Nasty. I thought, not Silky Smooth Johnston. Uh, fuck, I forgot what Patrice O'Neal's name was in the pimping thing. Um, but still though, classic, classic skit. Mm. But yeah, somewhere out there, Diddy is diddalizing motherfuckers. Probably dropping some mad hits. You know. But my uncle again said, dude, are we able to play Diddy's music? And it's like, well, technically it's not Diddy's music. I mean, <sighs> Diddy was more like the talent advisor who found the people to make the shit. And then he would just be like, eh, eh, eh. Thought I told you that we won't stop. Thought I told you that we won't stop. Eh, 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 eh. You know, or being like, yeah, we 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 here. We're I'm in I'm in the song. I'm dancing. You know what I mean? Dancing on your man's ass. Yeah, but but I mean, I told my uncle, man, stop with that bullshit. Don't let nothing ruin your shit. Cause he's like, dude, I'm a biggie guy. I'm biggie for life. Biggie's the man. And um, and uh, you know, I just told him, man, well, fuck. You know, I listened to Kanye when he got canceled. I didn't give a fuck. It's like, hey, 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 hey. Call him an anti this or whatever that, you know. But the motherfucker made great music, so I'm going to listen to it. Even my liberal ass sister was still bumping fucking Kanye. And, um, hell, my wife still listens to R. Kelly for some songs. You know what I mean? Rolling through when I fucked on you and then I came all in your face. I just want to tell you I love you. Listen, girl, I just want to tell you I love you and blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Because, again, I've said this before. R. Kelly had one of the dopest flows. And even fucking uh, Dave Chappelle knew it. Rolling on when I piss on you when I'm getting in that avenue. I'm rolling in a Lexus, bitch. You want to get in it? You know, and the Chris Isley brothers, shout out to them. They didn't know none unless, unless... Unless R. Kelly was supplying them with the finest, youngest pussy from fucking 22 to 7, 15 he could get. You know what I mean? 17 wasn't young enough, so I had to switch it up. You know, just for the exaggeration of the fucking Emancipation Proclamation. Anything like that. For that. But, um... But, uh... What the fuck was I gonna say? Yeah, no, nah, man. That Yeah, dude, you know, it's, it's gonna be tough to not want to listen to Diddy songs because then you listen to Biggie. Now, was Biggie involved? We went into big conspiracies about that shit. Was Biggie involved? Did Biggie know? Was Biggie gonna fucking snitch on him and be like, Man, Puff, you know, I just can't handle this shit no more. All this young, virgin teenage pussy is just too awesome and amazing. I have to fucking quit it. It's like fucking pink cocaine and ecstasy. I can't do it. <laughs> oh, oh. You know what I mean? Maybe he was gonna... Or maybe Biggie was like, I can't do this no more, Puff. Keep fucking me in my butt. 
or trying to stick it in and I have to keep fucking you up. Ugh, now I'm going to fucking have to tell on you for this teenage pussy you busting in in your houses. Ugh, and uh, Diddy obviously wasn't having that, so he probably, Diddy could have maybe possibly had Pac and Biggie done in, you know, so it just is what it is. But, uh, yeah, man, with that, have fun with it. Um, I think I'm done. That's it. That's all I got. Uh, what else? What else? Oh, yeah, there's a bitch that was called the, she was the J, the Gaylene, the Gaylene Maxwater of Diddy. So, Pub Daddy, so you know how there's, uh, the Epstein Island and shit? She, he had Giz Lane, Giz Lane. P. Diddy had a fucking Giz Lane himself. Would line up all the rappers and shit. So I was like, God damn, you know. But um, but yeah, you guys. I'm going to call it. I've been having fun with you guys. I've missed this. Um, thank you guys for tuning in, to, tuning out, watching my shorts, watching my long videos. I'm appreciative of it all, you know. Sometimes I talk shit about people watching just my shorts and not the long content. But I understand it. Shout out to the long content folks. Please watch the shorts too. But um. Miss you guys, miss this, miss the Dom Soyan, because this is what it's all about. I want to have fun on my podcast. You know, I know drinking ain't good for you. It's a fucking trap. I'm just stuck in it. I don't know when I'll quit. Maybe I won't, because once you get too long in it, fucking decades of it or whatever the fuck, triple, quadruple, 50, 50 years, five decades of it, stopping will kill you. But um, yeah, man, have a good time. Live your life. It's short. Don't sign the bad boy records. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, you know, let's just have fun. Because sometimes the bubble don't pop. It gets pop. Life gets pop and then it's done. So um, yeah, live life to the fullest. Have fun. Let's all try to live forever even though we won't. Um, but yeah, let's have a good time. Cheers, you guys. Appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for making it to the end. If you do, that is amazing. No one really does. Um, so, yeah, thank you. I appreciate it a lot. Appreciate each and every single one of you. All fucking 288. Maybe I might lose some people after this shit, but fuck it. Dom Soy! Yo, 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 you already know who it is and who it's been. This is Greg G, and this is Greg G Chronicles. Peace.